Well, good morning, beautiful. Welcome to a brand new day of life. I am so glad that you're meeting me here this morning. I have a great devotional lined up for you, which I've titled Calm. Our scripture is Matthew 14, 25. Jesus went out to them, walking on the sea. This week, we've been focusing on cleansing our mind. We've been using the tool of daily meditation to calm the noise. How hard is this for you? Really, how hard is five minutes of meditation time for you? Are you like me, like literally bouncing through a dozen random thoughts in your first three seconds of trying to be still? Are the squirrels having a rage in your mind? I get you, boo. I would often describe my busy, cluttered, scattered mind like a stormy sea. Thoughts go crashing into one another like big waves, one after another after another. And here I am in the middle of all my thoughts on an itty-bitty boat that's getting overwhelmed by the waves in my mind. Are you seasick from the rapid waves of thoughts crashing in your mind? Let me tell you something. Jesus loves to show up in stormy seas. Our scripture today comes from a story of, I've shared with you many times, the disciples are out in the, in the middle of the sea and there's a huge storm and their boat's getting overwhelmed by the waves. And then it says, Jesus went out to them walking on the sea. Oh, how Jesus loves to show up in stormy seas. He loves to walk right on top of those big, crashing waves. And he alone has the power to say, hush, be still. And the winds and the waves will obey him. And this is the answer for our crazy waves of thought, stirring up our minds and keeping us in turmoil, distracting us from our mission. Invite Jesus to calm your sea. Jesus, will you walk right into my mind on top of the waves of my thoughts and bring peace and calm? Will you still my mind? Will you tame these waves of worries, these seas of sadness, these uproars of uncertainty? The winds and the waves obey him in the sea. And they will obey him in your mind. How long have you been trying to do this on your own? And how exhausted are you? James 1, 6 says, The one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. Yesterday I was working on excuse me. A particularly difficult scenario with several potential options, trying to find the best possible route to pursue, and I just couldn't make up my mind. The more I worked on it, the more frustrating it became. If I do it this way, then that is messed up. If I go that route, then this is affected, and back and forth I would go, rewriting the plan again and again and again. (coughs) just doubting my ability to make an effective decision. And the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. Me in my little boat being tossed about by all the possibilities and the what ifs, rendering my power over the situation. Sound familiar? Do you have some decisions to make and you're just not sure of the correct one? Has your doubt got you seasick, tossed all over the place, overwhelmed by the options and the what-ifs? Invite Jesus to walk on those waves. Jesus, come calm my mind. I can't do this on my own. Without fail, he brings peace. He may not bring an immediate, clear answer. He may not deliver you to the shore in an instant, but he calms those waves so you can move forward. 
please forgive my cough this morning. Girls, we don't have to go through life chasing our squirrels. We don't have to be tossed about by the chaos. We can be focused. We can be efficient. We can be centered. And with the help of our water-walking, wind-rebuking, see calm in Jesus, we can quiet the noise in our mind and be calm. What would your day look like with a calm mind? Perhaps totally different than yesterday? I don't know what your day looked like yesterday and the day before, the day before, but I know many of us have the opposite of a calm mind. It's raging waves on our sea in our mind, and we're just being tossed about in the waves of our thoughts. But it doesn't have to be that way today. Oh, yes. He is the water-walking, wind-rebuking, sea-calming Jesus. And he can quiet the noise in your mind today to be calm. One last scripture, and I really love the simplicity of this. James 1, 5, out of the message translation, the beginning of the scripture says, if you don't know what you're doing, pray to the Father. You know what? There's some areas that I need to make some decisions, some plans, and I straight up don't know what I'm doing. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. And because I don't know what I'm doing, man, all these thoughts just come crashing in like wild waves. And I'm seasick. And all I need to do is pray to the Father. Just pray. God, would you help me? Would you send Jesus to walk on these waves in my mind? Won't you do that today? How simple is that? I would love to lead us in a prayer, inviting our Jesus to do that exact thing in our minds this morning. Who needs that? If you need it, would you pray with me? I apologize. I have not had an opportunity to be on our website this morning to see if there's any prayer requests. So please know that I will check that immediately afterwards. And uh, if there are any requests that have come in, I will post them on the mentoring page so that we can all pray over those. So please forgive me for not being able to pull that up this morning. Let's pray together, girls. God, good morning. God, we thank you for this new day of life. And God, I thank you that we have confidence in knowing that we can come to you. If we don't know what we're doing, all we have to do is cry out to you for help. And you are so faithful. So God, here we are, your girls this morning coming to you saying, Hey, Daddy, we don't know what we're doing. We don't know. We don't know what's best. We don't know how to make this decision. We don't know how to overcome this problem. Would you help us? Would you send Jesus to come walk on these waves of thoughts in our mind that are just tossing us to and fro, back and forth, again and again? And would you send Jesus to just calm the storm in our own minds? We thank you in advance that our Jesus is going to come and walk on those waves. The water walk and wind rebuke and sea calm in Jesus can come quiet the noise in our mind and help us to be calm today. We thank you in advance. For the calm God, I can already feel it. I can feel the calm already. I pray each one listening to this that just is seeking that calm, that they would feel it right now just come over them, just a sense of calm. Because Jesus is walking on those waves of our doubts and all our thoughts, tossing us back and forth. We have asked you for help, and we can trust that you are on your way. And God, we thank you. I lift up each and every one of my sisters to you. You know what they need. God, I pray that you would meet those needs. Wrap them up in your arms. Calm their minds and give them peace. We pray for our kids today, our husbands today. Oh, God, thank you again for another chance to get it right. 
It's in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, girls. You know I love you wildly, right? Uh, Let me tell you anyway. I love you wildly. I hope you have a fantastic Thursday. Remember our five minutes of meditation. The challenge was to do it as early as possible in the morning. So if you haven't already done your five minutes of meditation, set your little timer right now. And maybe this morning what you need to repeat is, Jesus, help me be calm. Jesus, help me be calm. Jesus, help me be calm. Oh, he is so faithful. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.